Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if you want us to react to something, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll do it for you. You can check out our second YouTube channel called Fanny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe, and enjoy our weekly content. We've got a podcast called Diving In with Fanny and Jesse, and we have some amazing conversations which you guys don't want to miss. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, this channel, or our second YouTube channel for the visual. And we've got a Patreon account. You guys feel free to become members, and we'll appreciate a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, and just doing whatever you're doing. You guys are the best. Like I always say, we didn't come this far without you guys. And lastly, a big shout out to the person that suggested this. I hope all of you guys are doing all right out there and may you stay blessed. So today I'm going to be reacting to how Newton exposed Europe's darkest secret. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. We find that there is about a thousand years missing, which is an amnesia. There is a big jump but from the Greek and Roman on the one side to the what we call the European Renaissance and there's a, more than a thousand years. Sometimes it's called the Dark Ages, sometimes it's called the Medieval Age. It was a confusion. Those great people like Copernicus and, uh, and, 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 and great scientists who had adopted ideas that may have been found to be conflicting with the church, they didn't want to be seen as having read Arabic and, 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 uh, and transferred some of their uh, knowledge from, uh, acquired their knowledge from Arabic sources. Uh, although when they wanted to know about the Greeks uh, and what the Greeks have done, they had to learn Arabic because there was nothing left in the Greeks. Uh, you know, if you, if you want to find out anything what Galen has said or Ptolemy, you can't find Greek manuscripts. So the, 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 the historians had to read Arabic first because the Arabs at the time have translated the Greeks' work and preserved it. Many people, uh, when they look at the n modern numerals, we call them Arabic numerals, the, the one, two, three, four, mm -hmm. uh, which we write from left to right. But when we do calculations, any mathematical calculations and sums, what do we do? We start from the right to left, which is the Arabic way. It was called Arabic numerals. It, it, uh, they abandoned the Latin numerals because you couldn't possibly do any sums, you couldn't do any equations. Can, if, we st if Europe stayed with Latin numerals, it would have not had any advances in any industry. Or So the, the Arabs at the time, they used to call it Indian numerals. Mm. The Arabs were honest people. The Muslim scholars never deny any nation, any culture, their contribution. They were always very meticulous and very careful about recognizing their sources and references. Mm -hmm. They also have managed to uh, modify the use of zero. Now, zero was known by the Babylonians. The Indians knew the zero and so on. But to use the zero as a decimal was a Muslim. This, 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 unfortunately, this gap in knowledge, it was deliberate. Mm -hmm. People did not want to have their own children and their own nation to know about what the Muslims have done and, and so on. And they just wanted to concentrate on European superiority. We, when Isaac Newton said a fantastic sentence, and this sentence is on the two pound coin at the edge of every two pound coin we have in the UK. Mm -hmm. It says, we stand on the shoulders of others. He was standing on the shoulders of giants. Yeah. So if one really dig deep and find out who before Isaac Newton, you will not go very far before you discover the great Muslim giants. That, uh, of course, Isaac Newton worked a lot on light and reflection and so mm -hmm. on. Of course, he must have referred to Ibn al-Haytham. A thousand years ago, this man has revolutionized the way people used to think that they, the way they see. And he developed experiments to prove that. And uh, he saw, he, his famous experiment is the camera, which we call camera today. And that means the dark room. He's in a dark room. He puts a small little pinhole on one side and uh, the light goes through this pinhole and the picture outside that dark room, that the camera, comes out opposite, inverted picture of the outside. So 
such an encrypted message on the coin what do you guys have to say about that i mean that's what they're doing anyway otherwise this was a short video i wish it was at least five minutes or six otherwise i enjoyed listening to this very very educative when you look at some of these videos don't be close-minded always tell yourself okay fine if i watch their reaction i'm learning something that's how life is i just learned something from this otherwise make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video